Today we're going to install a back rack headache rack on this 2019 new body style Chevy Silverado 1500 using the no drill standard mount. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is cut out your stake pocket cover. I've gone ahead and done that and set this to the side. Uh, I've also gone ahead and trimmed this up, made sure it's nice and clean. All right, next what we want to do is access a hole right behind the stake hole pocket. So what I'm going to do since I've got a bed rug is I'm going to pull that bed rug back and expose this hole right here. Now, if you have a drop in liner, you probably want to pull that out or notch it out. If you have a spray in liner, you might have a plug covering up that hole. Just pop the hole out so we have access to it. All right, now we're going to go ahead and locate our shake bolt that has the threaded nut on there. We're going to drop that down into the stake pocket and make sure our threads line up to the hole. You're also given a, a short bolt that's a very large diameter with a lock washer and flat washer. We're going to go through that hole, get it lined up, and start those threads in there. Just get it finger tight for right now. Next, we're going to locate our rail plate. Now, the rail plate will be tapered to the outside, and it will drop down to 90 degrees for the inside. You're also going to have a notch to the front of it that goes up towards the bulkhead. What we're going to do there is let the hole line, line straight up to our shake bolt and get it as far forward on the bed cap as possible. All right, next here is our passenger side bracket. What you're going to notice is we've got two holes uh, that are facing up towards the top and then a channel that faces to the inside of the bed. What we're going to do here is flip it upside down. We've got a couple of adhesive pads we're going to set here and here. This keeps uh, metal to metal contact from happening. All right, now that we have the pads installed, we're going to go ahead and mount this bracket to the rack. Now, make sure you have this oriented properly. The channel is going to be facing to the inside of the bed of the truck. We're going to lift up the rack, make sure the holes in the rack line up to the holes in the bracket. Drop that down in place, and we're going to take our long carriage bolt, go through the bracket, make sure the rounded end of the carriage bolt is cab side, and the bolt comes out towards the bed. Now, we're going to take our flat washer and our nylock nut and put that in place and we're going to tighten that down not all the way just yet just get it nice and snug so it doesn't move around on, the, on us a lot we still want to be able to adjust it a little bit repeat the same process on the opposite side now we recommend putting a blanket over top of the cab this is a big heavy rack that's supposed to protect your cab so while you're installing it make sure you protect the cab with a blanket now i'll go ahead and lift up the entire assembly and line it up to the bolts that are in your stake pockets once those are lined up on both sides we'll go ahead and put on our flat washer lock washer and nut and put that on finger tight on both sides. All right, now that we've got everything all set in place, we're gonna go ahead and tighten down first the bolts going to the stake pocket. Use a one and one eighteenth inch wrench, wrench or ratchet. Do that on both sides. Next, using a 15 sixteenths, we're gonna go ahead and tighten down the bracket to the stake pocket bolt. And do that on both sides. All right, and finally, once we have centered the back rack onto the brackets, we'll go ahead and tighten down the carriage bolt using a three quarter. And repeat that on the opposite side as well. Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.